step up for coming from a a other than to a stake but uh she's a natural two-turn dirt horse uh, i thought her race last time was very good and i thought this was a kind of a next logical stop uh so i'm looking forward to it the Phillies trained good since she's been up here she's had plenty of space between her races and uh hope she can step it up a little bit had a great workout the other day horse um in the summer colony, there seems like a little bit more speed set up. The brake last time got bumped pretty bad and, and had to recover from that. Do you think the horse will be a little closer to the pace this time? Well, I'm going to let her run a race. I mean, she's not fast and she's never laid up close, but I think some of the horses that are in there are maybe kind of, I think she's kind of one that's going forward and some of the others that are, you know, got a little bit better resumes and maybe are kind of leveled off a little bit. So. I'm kind of hoping in, in that respect. Uh, but, you know, going a mile and eighth, I wouldn't think she'd be out the back by any means. Well, good luck today in the summer colony. All right, thanks. Here with Tom Amos, uh, catching him as he's running out after watching the morning works. Tom, you got Misty Vale going today. Speed of the speed in the race. Um, Horse Racing Nation's track trends reports show that dirt routes right now about 60% on or within one length of the lead at first call. So definitely with the bias here, tell me a little about what you think of the setup. Well, the setup is my only real opportunity. It's a very good group of horses, and we're an outsider in the race. But but that's Misty Vale's game, is to try to make the lead out of the gate, and that's going to be the game plan. That'll be the instructions in the paddock. And uh, there's not a lot of speed in the race, so if we can get away on that lead, we're going to try to carry it as far as we possibly can, slow it down up front, and uh, we'll see in this mile and eighth race how far we take it. You got Trevor McCarthy up. Trevor's been getting a little hotter as of late. He actually won back-to-back -back days last race of the day. Maybe it's Trevor towards the end of the card type of thing. Talk to me why I put Trevor up here. So I, I, I enjoy working with people that help me in the mornings, you know, getting the horses uh, workouts and things like that. Trevor knows this filly uh, from being on her back. So the idea of using someone that's been on her before and feeling like you're working together uh, is a lot different than what I usually do in the Midwest. But up here uh, in New York, it's, it's really hard to get some of the guys to come on out and work these horses. And, uh, and, and I, think I, I think I'm a better trainer when I'm working with a jockey that's been on the horse before. So this works well today. Good luck in the stakes race today. Thanks very much. With Kenny McPeak's assistant back in the annex of uh, Saratoga Racetrack, you had En Vatant going today. Uh, how's the horse been training off this uh, quite a bit of a layoff? She's been training great. Um, she, she obviously ran a Santa Anita there in the spring and you know the race didn't quite plan out and um, she didn't run as well as we expected. Um, and since then she was, uh, she was sent to stud, uh, she was covered and she didn't catch. So that's the reason for the time off. Um, but she's come back a happy horse, a fresh horse and she's training brilliantly. Um, so yeah, we're expecting a big run today. That, trace, that race on paper seems like there's gonna be a horse very loose on the lead the way this main track is starting to play now more mm -hmm. forward and forward any concern with not being close enough to that pace setter um not necessarily you know obviously there's concerns for everybody in every race with horses going forward or horses dropping back or whatever and she this filly's very uncomplicated and you know we're just gonna go out there keep it simple and and hopefully she's the best horse in the race and she can come home in front Last thing for you, Twitter blowing up a little bit today. Uh, Classic Causeway nominated for a, a stakes race in Japan. Any comment on that? It's a good thing that that's what it's about. Um, yeah, Classic Causeway, he, uh, he's, he's doing great. Uh, he's training brilliantly. And yeah, we've, no, we've nominated him for the Japan, uh, a couple of races in Japan. Um, we've got a couple of options. Champions Day in England is also an option still. Um, but yeah, there's a few options, uh, but Japan's definitely up there on the list. And yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully after Aqueduct, we can make our plan. Well, good luck in the stakes race today. Thank you very much.